Hi, I'm Eric Voss and Avengers Infinity War surprised us with a new shorter trailer. But even at 30 seconds, this thing is as packed with miserable details as a normal full trailer. I guess considering all of the MCU heroes are part of this, it's hard to include a shot without one of them sneaking into frame with a cool new suit or mysterious scar or game-changing weapon. I guess that's excluding no-shows like Hawkeye and Ant-Man. Maybe they're just hiding behind the Marvel logo like Mike Wazowski. All right, you know the drill. I'm gonna break this down shot by shot and point out several bombshells in this Avengers trailer. Now, am I being hyperbolic, calling plot clues in a comic book movie trailer bombshells? Maybe? Don't judge me! Potential spoiler warning ahead, and let's get started with this first half. So this is it. It's all been leading to this. Ready? Let's go. Okay, first we see Iron Man, Peter Parker, and Stephen Strange, the MCU trinity, if you will, or just three well-liked Marvel characters. Now, I'm assuming this is a little ways into the movie. Stark and Peter have already suited up in their new armor, and it seems like this movie will take a moment to introduce this stuff to us. But to me, the bigger question is, where are they? Well, look closely at that blue lighting in the background. This looks very similar to that possible Asgardian ship setting that we saw Loki in in the previous trailer when he was handing over the Tesseract. By the way, I already did a super in-depth breakdown of that trailer, so go make sure to watch it so you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I think these three are witnessing that event. Maybe they traveled through some rift in reality using Strange's powers, or maybe that big mysterious ring floating over New York. But the theory I'm leaning most toward is that all of this is barf. Yep, barf. All this is gratuitous fan service, and it grosses me out. Barf! No, no, no. Barf. Binary augmented retro framing. Tony Stark's hologram memory technology that we saw in Captain America Civil War. The directors, the Russo brothers, hinted that a piece of technology introduced in Civil War would come back and play a major role in this movie. So I think Stark could be using his barf tech to go inside Bruce Banner's memories from when he was the Hulk on the Asgardian ship at the end of Thor Ragnarok to witness a projected recording of the moment Loki screwed them over and Thanos' forces acquired the Space Stone. Of course, I could be wrong, so let me know what you think we're seeing here in the comments below. But next up, there's more of Scarlet Witch, Wanda Maximoff, consoling Vision in human Paul Bettany looking form. It's hard to tell exactly what she's doing here. Maybe she's using her powers to examine the Mind Stone in his forehead, reading it like a palm reader would read palms to predict Thanos coming for it. Or this could take place after Vision has had his Mind Stone clawed out of his head, and Wanda is just sweetly materializing a new fake one made out of energy and reinserting it in his head, you know, to make him feel better, like kissing a boo-boo. I don't know, this just seems like a really intimate moment. I like the detail of the tiny hair on Paul Bettany's head bending forward as if attracted to the electricity between these lovers. Or just static electricity. In either case, I'm thinking Vision losing the Mind Stone will cause kind of an existential crisis for him. Like, maybe he'll feel like he lost his soul. And he'll have to learn that while the Mind Stone was one of the ingredients that brought him into the world, it doesn't define who he is now. Next, we see the Guardians of the Galaxy, Star Lord, Gamora, and Drax stepping off the Milano, and later a different shot of Thor with Rocket and Teenage Groot. I love how he's distracted on his phone there. Looks like they're headed somewhere else. Maybe the Guardians are going to be splitting off on different tasks, but more on that later. But then we see Peter Parker clinging to the giant ring structure that we saw in the last trailer. But here, this thing has risen way higher above Manhattan, and Peter is still wearing his old Spider-Man suit. He rips off his mask and gasps for air, probably because the air is so thin up there and he can't breathe. So I think what we're gonna see here is after Peter sees that thing on his way to school, he swings in to investigate, but then it shoots up into the sky and Stark has to send in the pressurized iron spider suit to attach to Peter and wrap around him, which I'm thinking is what we saw the finished result of in the last trailer. I just think this all suggests to us how much under threat all these heroes are. They're gonna have to stay suited up for the entire movie because they never know when danger will strike. Okay, next up, it looks like Cap and Black Widow are returning to Avengers headquarters and behind Natasha, you can see Vision holding himself as if he's wounded with the Mind Stone no longer in his forehead. So I guess the takeaway here is that Vision losing his Mind Stone won't kill him. It'll just leave him a little rattled forcing the Avengers to regroup, along with some new friends. Look closely behind Cap. There's another person there. Now you can see this person's hand as it swings down, and if you look over to the right, there's a reflection in the glass that shows an outline with long hair. You can also see a gold-colored pattern on this person's suit and a 
bluish color on the thigh. Guys, I'm thinking we're looking at Captain Marvel here. You know, but um, in a new suit that isn't like weird and green. My guess is, kind of like how they introduced Black Panther in Civil War, they're gonna backdoor Captain Marvel in this movie and set her up for her own solo film next year. We we'll get this quick shot of Thor, more thoughts on him in a second, but then there's Cap showing us the new shield T'Challa teased in the last trailer, a Wakandan designed retractable vibranium shield gauntlet. And looks like it would provide him with a lot less cover than his round shield would, but I could see Cap picking this out to be more tactical in the battle he's about to fight against the Outriders. Like, I would say he would need something a bit more lightweight with some sharper points to jab with. Meanwhile, based on set photos that have leaked, at some point we will see Cap in his classic Stars and Stripes at some point in this movie or in Infinity War Part 2, during which I assume we will see him reunited with his round shield. But let's move on to the second half of this trailer. Okay, in this part we see Tony Stark's new Iron Man armor which spreads and assembles across his body. Now this looks like the closest thing we've gotten in the MCU to the long anticipated bleeding edge armor from the comics, which is based on nanobots inside Tony's skin, which emerge and assemble as his armor. But if you're looking at this closely, this does look a bit different from that. This armor doesn't appear to be bleeding out of his skin so much as it's really just crawling across his shoulder and neck, with each piece of it building on the last piece. This could just be an extrapolation from the armor assembling out of his wristwatch in Civil War. Maybe combined with the tech of Shuri's new Black Panther suit, which emits from the necklace. In this case, maybe this armor emits from Tony's new chest piece. Next, there's a shot of Teenage Groot, and if you look behind him, there's a large ring device that looks similar to the one Thor grabs onto in the previous trailer. Also, in that shot that we saw earlier, where he looks up and says, ready, it looks like he was standing in that thing. Now, it's rumored that Thor will get a new hammer in this movie, since the last Mjolnir was destroyed by Hela and Ragnarok. A while back, concept art for this movie showed Thor wielding some new version of Mjolnir. And Chris Hemsworth posted on social media a photo of him with the ultimate version of the hammer from the comics. That's part battle axe. And more recently, there was a leaked image of a Funko Pop Thor for this movie with Thor holding his new hammer. That's right guys, the secret's always in the toys. So anyway, maybe that's what Thor is doing here with Groot and Rocket, forging his new hammer. Next, there's a shot of Nebula. The background looks similar to some of those battle shots with Stark and Spider-Man in the last trailer. At the time, I suggested that this could be the ruins of Xandar, the home of the Nova Corps from the Guardians of the Galaxy, which Thanos probably would destroy to get his hands on the Power Stone that was kept there. Then a few shots of this battle in Wakanda, the wave of Outriders, Black Widow riding with Adora Milaje, and Bucky. Now if you look closely, the Wakandans have designed for him a new vibranium arm, and did him a solid of keeping that bounce in his hair. Following this is this interesting shot of Doctor Strange harnessing a spell, with Iron Man just swooping in and pushing right through it. Now I don't think Stark is screwing up this attack on accident, this seems deliberate. This could just be a teamwork moment, like maybe Doctor Strange is holding this mystical energy football, and Stark is coming in with his repulsors to kick it through the uprights. Or maybe Stark doesn't want Strange to use this spell. Maybe Strange is trying to attack Cap or Vision or Scarlet Witch, and Stark is telling him to stand down. Or maybe Stark is worried that whatever spell Strange casts might backfire from Thanos' forces, so he's trying to help his buddy out. I don't know, let me know what you think is happening here in the comments, but then after another quick look at that great team-up charge, we close on this menacing shot of Thanos' face. Now, a lot of you guys have pointed out to me those lines on Thanos' cheeks, suggesting their scars. Maybe from Cap's new vibranium gauntlet or Black Panther's claws. Some are even saying those scars could come from Wolverine, who, now that Marvel has regained the movie rights to the character with this Disney Fox merger, could make a cameo in some upcoming MCU property? Look, all of those options sound awesome to me. I'm fascinated to see how any of these characters could leave a mark on Thanos, except no. People, that studio merger is still very much a work in progress, and Infinity War has been in a can for quite a bit now. So uh, yeah, I wouldn't expect Wolverine to pop up here. More importantly, Thanos has had those lines on his face for a while now, at least since we saw that good look of him in Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know, maybe in the MCU we'll see some very interesting backstory as to how he got them, but I don't think it'll come from any of the Avengers in this war. It breaks my heart to extinguish a good theory fire, but guys, we have to appeal to reason at some point. But a question I want to leave you guys with, what could Thanos' 
weakness be? Also, now that it looks like Captain Marvel will appear in this movie, how do you think Avengers Infinity War will work Captain Marvel into the story? Comment down below with what you think and your thoughts on those other mysteries from this trailer down below or tweet me directly at EA Voss and follow New Rockstars on Twitter for updates on our videos. And yeah, if you haven't already, go check out my breakdown on the first Infinity War trailer for more details about this movie. Subscribe to New Rockstars for breakdowns and deep dives into all the stuff you love, including all the other trailers released during this big game, including Solo, a Star Wars story, and some upcoming breakdowns we have for Westworld Season 2 trailer and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And if you really want to help us grow, you can contribute to us on Patreon. Big thanks to all of our donors, especially Pony Stark. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.